everyone, it's Lori Cooch. Today, um, we're not gonna make an actual project, but I wanna show you a technique that you may not have thought about or, or even tried. And you can do this with regular ink, as well as the embossing ink, which is what I'm gonna use today. But it works with the regular ink pads as well. So um, today we're going to do some dry embossing and heat embossing on the same project. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get an embossing folder and I'm going to have my piece of paper that I'm going to emboss and my embossing buddy to get that static off of the paper because we do not want embossing powder sticking where we don't want it after we've we've set it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my embossing folder and I'm going to, this one's polka dots and I'm going to do the side with the raised dots. I don't know if you can see those, but those are what's gonna make the indent indentation on the paper. You could do it on this side where the it's gonna pop out after you emboss it, but that's a little harder to get this in ink all the way down in there. So the end result would be um, the non-raised stuff would be embossed. So it's your choice, whatever you want to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just emboss up my folder or not emboss, ink up my folder with this Versamark ink. And I want to cover really good. I want good coverage so that the embossing powder will stick to it. There. Then I'm just going to put my piece of paper on here and I'm just using, I just grabbed a piece of scrap card stock. And then I'm going to run it through my cuddle bug. Because the Versamark ink is clear, you can't really see it, so don't uh, don't think you're you're missing something. Now I'm gonna just take it off. Now this is the side that has the embossing ink on it. Get this out of my way. Now on a piece of scratch paper. I'm going to use the Princess Gold embossing powder so that you'll be able to see it. But you're just going to sprinkle it on. All over your project. And then I'm going to put the extra back in my jar. Then I'm going to carefully um, heat emboss it with my heat tool. What I want to do first is get a corner done so that you, and you can see when it's turning. See how that's turning right there? So that I can then hold it with my tweezers and not burn myself. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just turning it and grabbing my tweezers because this is set. It's not going to come off. Hopefully you can see it turning the color. So you, that's when you know that it's, it's been done and you can move to a different area.
there. There's I'm um, using both the dry embossing folder and the heat emboss to get a really cool effect. This would be great for cards. You could even do it on a scrapbook page if you had the long platform um, for your cuddle bug or your Sizzix or your Big Shot or whatever you're using. You could do it on a 12 by 12 piece of paper. You'd have to have the embossing folder lined up to do that, but it's totally doable. So there you go. There's a fun technique. I hope I taught you something new. Um, thanks for watching. You can always click, click subscribe here on YouTube to be notified when I post new projects and techniques. Or if you're looking at this on the blog, please click follow and then you'll also be notified as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.